So peak analysis and automation provide uh, laboratory automation solutions. Um, these can, and they're typically based around robotic arms using our scheduling software, which we call Overlord. The company started uh, 25 years ago. Um, it was a spin out from uh, British Petroleum. Our customers are pharmaceutical, biotech, research institutes and universities throughout the world. The application involves automating one or two uh, single instruments which are commonly found in laboratories for our customers. The product, called the S-Lab, is designed to work with microplates. These are rectangular blocks of plastic which contain an array of test tubes, which is a standard within our industry. The number of test tubes within each of these plates can vary from 96 wells up to 1536 wells. The customer will come along with a stack of microplates and load them onto the system. The robot will then automatically detect how many microplates are loaded into the system, will pick up the plate and then move it to the connected instrument. Our scheduling product, Overlord, is effectively a programming language for, the, for laboratory automation. It allows us to automate uh, one instrument up to 50 instruments around one or many robotic arms. The software, which is running on an embedded computer, will then instruct the instrument to run its activity. Once the instrument has finished, the robot will come along, pick up the microplate and move it to the output stack. And the robot will simply then process the next microplate and keep going until it's processed all the plates on the system. Typically, a customer can be standing at the instrument for 30 minutes, maybe to an hour, feeding plates in manually. So our product really does free them up to go away and do much more important tasks. At PAA, we also provide large automation work cells. These are systems which typically use a larger robotic arm. It can move in a, a containment system and will integrate many uh, laboratory instruments. We're currently using the DCX motor and the gearbox combo. Maxon are also providing a customized uh, version of this with the pinion attached to the motor shaft. The Maxon motor is actually driving the robot gripper. So we have a simple mechanism which just opens and closes and grips onto the plate. The plates can really vary in weight from 50 grams up to 500 grams. So it's really important that the motor has a secure grip on the microplate. The criteria for using the motor from Maxon was reliability. Although cost was really important as we're looking to achieve a low cost product, reliability was really key. We can't afford for the robot gripper to drop customer samples. That just would not be acceptable. So reliability really is key. We did look at other products in the market um, from other manufacturers, but the uh, customer support that we got from Maxon um, made us feel confident that that was the right product for us. We see the industry evolving around the increased adoption of automation. One of the barriers for uh, uh, adoption of automation right now is cost and complexity. We feel our products really address those areas. We found working with Maxon really uh, enjoyable experiments. They've been really helpful in helping us address many of the technical issues that we've come across while designing the product. And we would have no reservations with working with Maxon again in the future.